My name is Kate Leader, and I am a cancer survivor. I was diagnosed with the type of breast cancer um, called ductal carcinoma in situ. I had breast cancer in both breasts, but it was not invasive. So after they um, did my surgery and found out that all the pathology came back negative, I did not have to have any follow-up treatment. My sister was diagnosed at a very young age. She was diagnosed in her early 30s, so I became very diligent about having mammograms. And if I hadn't done that, you know, who knows? I think one of the biggest changes for me after I was diagnosed with cancer and after I realized that I'm really one of the lucky ones and I was going to be fine is it, it forced me to sort of stop and evaluate my life and my priorities. And a lot of the things that seemed important or I thought were important really became a lot less important suddenly. And the things that really became the focus were things like family and friends. And that's, you know, that's really what it's all about. Well, I think when you go through an experience like um, being diagnosed with cancer and then coming through it, it opens your eyes to the prevalence of cancer and where it is. Once you, once you get that diagnosis, all of a sudden you realize cancer's everywhere and it becomes your sort of main focus. When I was asked to lead a group for the Connecticut Challenge, it was to be a cancer support group for underserved women in Bridgeport, Connecticut and the experience was amazing. To be part of something where you can help provide a forum for women to come together and share their stories and their experiences with each other in a safe and nurturing environment, um, while at the same time being able to provide them with the tools and the resources that, is avail that are available to them, um, as both a therapist and a survivor, it was, it was amazing. I have ridden in the Connecticut Challenge annual bike ride every year since it started in 2005, so for six years. And I just can't speak enough about what an incredible day it is, how inspirational it is. Um, and that was well before my diagnosis and, and continues to be now after my diagnosis. We bike ride a lot. My kids have ridden, Nick and I have ridden in the Connecticut Challenge for all six years, and our children have ridden the last four years. Um, and that's become sort of a family event that we do. As a family, I'd say we're very outdoorsy. We love to be doing anything outside. Um, we're very athletic. My, ki my daughter is a swimmer, and my son plays hockey and lacrosse. To the best of my ability, I try to live a healthy life, to stay positive, to stay focused, and I think for survivors, it's so important to take care of yourself. It's so important to sometimes be selfish, and do what you need for you, but to also reach out and ask for help when you need help. That was an invaluable lesson for me because there are gonna be ups and there are gonna be downs. And that's all part of survivorship. Since my involvement with the Connecticut Challenge, I have met a group of incredible people. Um, I'm, I'm a member of the Survivor Advisory Board, which is a group of passionate, intelligent people who share a common purpose and that is to you know, empower cancer survivors to live longer, happier, healthier lives. And this group of people that I've met and the more that I continue to meet as the ride grows, I mean, we went from 200 the first year, or I think a little under 200, to last year there were 750 people. This year they're hoping for 1,000. Um, everyone who gets involved, once you're involved, it's infectious. You, you just want to be a part of it. You want to help. You want to you be a part of it.